Welcome to Cobbler's Pool, Avon Valley. Let's have a look. So this is Cobbler's Pool. We decided to come look up and test out a free camp for this weekend, and this is where we've come to. Cobbler's Pool is less than oh, about an hour from Perth, uh, and 20 kilometers short of 2J. It's headed up into the Avon Valley, and Cobbler's Pool is actually a halfway stop for the Avon Descent White Water Race, which we have in uh, Western Australia each year. So it's an overnight race, and this is the point where they all camp and stop. It's a free camp, uh, although technically the range visited us this morning and told us it's actually not a camping area. It's more just like a council land that they kind of just let people camp on. So there you go. There's a technical, technical uh, explanation there from the ranger. He was fantastic. This is the first weekend in November and fires are now not permitted in this uh, local shire. <clears throat> so he was here making sure. Unfortunately, there were a number of people, not where we camped, but further down along the pool that did have campfires as he reported. So fire bans are pretty serious things here in Western Australia. So this time of the year, uh, fire is not permitted. So how do you get here? Coming from Perth, you're gonna take the 2J road, which leaves the Swan Valley, heads up directly towards 2J, and you're gonna drive along until you get to Lover's Lane, which is a left turn off the road, and that brings you all the way to Cobbler's Pool Road. Follow Cobbler's Pool Road, and you'll end up at a giant orange sea tainer, and this is the marker to enter the camp area. It's well signposted, so it's not like it's a secret location and it is relatively easy to get to. It's bitumen all the way, and then a well-maintained uh, series of roads once you enter the Cobbler Pool area. There isn't really any infrastructure here. There are some level camp areas, and they can take a variety of different camping uh, styles. You can easily tent and swag it here. There's plenty of places for that. There are a few flatter camp areas where larger camper trailers or caravans could get into. Our hybrid had no trouble using most of the spots that were available here. When you first enter the area, there is some designated, or you can see areas that are marked where the Avon Descent competitors and their crews obviously camp during the uh, race. Uh, that's when you first come in. It's higher off the water area, so it's much more level. So if there aren't any real spots down the bottom here, there are quite a few spots and clear areas up there. And those would be ideal areas for people who had fifth wheelers or really large caravans. There is mobile phone reception here. Pretty good 4G signal, we're with Telstra, so we don't have any problem with it here. And even though we're right down the river valley, it is actually pretty good uh, reception. So here's an example of a small camp area just down here by the water. Uh, it's a basic teardrop design. There's a few of these spread along the section here. This one's pretty good. Obviously no fires allowed at the moment, but there is a little campfire ring there marked here. And as you can see, it's very proximal to the water. At this time of the year, the water level is pretty low, um, but you can certainly see it came up very high this year. One last thing about Cobbler's Pool, which you need to be aware of, is it is about 200 meters from a train line. Now that train line goes all the way from Perth, all the way to Kalgoorlie, and via sort of Northern and Meriden in between. Eventually it heads across to the Eastern States as well. So you, while camping here, you can reasonably expect there to be a number of trains traveling through this area per hour. Some of them are pretty small, some of them are pretty large. So uh, last night we had about ooh, maybe three trains overnight go through. Uh, and then yesterday during the day, I think the most we'd heard at any time was maybe two or three per hour. Just be aware, it's not uh, total peace and quiet down here by the riverside all the time. There is a train line that's relatively close by. So final thoughts. Look, it's a pretty good campsite. It's a free camp, so there's a win right there. It's very easy to get to. You know, good camp areas that are well marked. And apart from, you know, 
a few camp areas where people have obviously driven where they shouldn't, it's pretty well maintained. There wasn't a lot of rubbish here, although there was one person who decided to leave a little uh, message down by the waterside and didn't bother burying it or use anything. So looking at you, Mr. Whippy. Apart from that guy, uh, it was actually a pretty well kept area. And obviously the rangers do police it. As I said, they pop around and, and talk to people uh, while they're here. Overall, look, it's okay. It's pretty good for a quick overnighter out of Perth. Uh, if you don't mind train noise, it's probably not too bad. I can't see that being any different at any time. And certainly coming into harvest, the grain movements up here are quite significant on the train line. So other than that, it's pretty good. Great place to probably get away just for a weekend. I'm gonna go with three stars, maybe three stars today. I think three stars. And the tagline for this place should be, you gotta light trains. Enjoy your time everyone, and don't forget, it's time to get out there.